Hello, this is Mike, NoStressMike.com. Oh, I got some fun stuff. We've been so serious all this time. No more, no more being serious. Let's, let's play some games. Let's have some fun. And what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how to have fun in a disaster. And, uh, well, we're not, it's hard to plan these disasters. So what we're going to do is I want to give you some situations that you can do to help mentally get yourself ready and use some of the stuff that you're supposed to be collecting and you should have already. And uh, we're going to talk about them. Uh, we're going to talk about how to, uh, what you need to do. It's just an exercise is all it is. It's a fun exercise. You're going to learn a lot. A lot and just like everything in life, it's the little things that make the difference. And you're going to find all kinds of little things once you start doing these simple exercises. Okay, now this is an exercise you can do for yourself. Uh, you don't need the family to be involved in it or anything like that. And this is, will work for man or wife, or man and wife, either one. And uh, okay, what it is, is you, uh, and you have, you have plenty of time to prepare with material things and you have time to prepare your mind. Okay, what you need to do is uh, on, in, on the, a short day of work. If you have a day where you only work a half a day, try it on that day. And what it'll be is you walk home. And uh, it's, you don't necessarily have to walk, but uh, because depending on the distance, some people just have a, a few blocks, a few miles, some people got a long ways. But uh, try to do it without paying for a ride. In other words, try to do it without taking a taxi cab, uh, without taking a bus, uh, without a uh, subway, uh, this type of stuff. You can, you can hitchhike, you can get a ride, get a ride from somebody like that. And uh, uh, now, if, if you're a long ways, uh, that might be a little tough. So why don't we say you can take a bus? Uh, so if you have to, you can take a bus. But that's the only transportation you can pay for. Other than that, not paying for any transportation. As you're walking, you're going to find uh, everything is a little more personal when you're walking. When you're in the car just driving through the neighborhood, it's no big deal. But when you start walking, you're going to notice cracks in the sidewalk and holes and stuff like that. Uh, you'll be able, the one good thing is now you'll be able to stop at the convenience store and get yourself a, a bottle of water and uh, you know, and drink it as you're going along, you know, or stop and rest in security, uh, knowing that you're pretty much going to be safe. But this is all that you need to do to uh, prepare in case you have to walk to the house for whatever reason. You have to abandon your car and you have to go. Maybe your car will get you part way to the, to the house. Who knows? Okay, what you're going to do, what, what, you're gonna, what, what you should have right now already in your car is a backpack. And it needs to have stuff in it. The stuff you need to get home. Uh, like I say, uh, when I was a kid, uh, we had a tornado go right between my house and our business. And so the best way was to walk it. And it was only about maybe, maybe I'd say two or three miles, maybe. Yeah, maybe four miles. It wasn't that far. And that was the best way to do it. Uh, my father ended up driving. I was at the house and I knew it was all destroyed, but I didn't know how, if, the, if our business was still good. So I walked to the business. And uh, he drove. Uh, drove to the house to make sure everybody was okay at the house. It took him seven hours to get home. And uh, so uh, a lot of times after a disaster, it's much easier to walk. Uh, you'll be able to get rides with people that do have some kind of wheels and stuff like that. So, 
Uh, that's why I say if you can hitchhike or something, that'd be okay. And uh, But you're going to learn what you need in that bag. And I'm going to give you uh, a little bit of some ideas. Okay, we talked about uh, the Hammerless 38. Okay, when you're walking after a disaster, carrying guns is not uh, the smart thing to do. Everybody's going to see you armed and they might want your arms. So what you want is a pocket gun. And a Hammerless 38 Smith & Wesson Airlite is a very good uh, pocket gun. You can use it out of, shoot it right out of your pocket, so it's no big deal. And it's just, it's only good for just a few feet. And uh, I'm talking like uh, two to six feet is the only thing it's good for. But that's all you need it for. You just want to try to keep the boogeyman away from you, and that's it. So I would suggest uh, that is one item you should have in your backpack in the trunk of your car. Okay, another thing is, uh, not so much in your backpack, but in the trunk of your car would be a good pair of boots, uh, walking boots. And uh, I told you about the tornado when I was a, a youngin'. I wore tennis shoes. I had my tennis shoes were all cut up. I had nails stuck in my feet, and it was a terrible thing. And uh, after a, a tornado, I mean, there's nails everywhere. So uh, I would suggest you have a good pair of walking boots in the trunk of your car. Okay, uh, uh, another thing would be um, knives. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to use knives, and uh, I do classes, we talk about this kind of stuff. But th there are things that you do need, and uh, there's a reason why you need these things. And you start walking, you're going to find out why you need these things. <laughs> and uh, I would suggest uh, maybe, uh, let's see, um, uh, water, um, water purification, because you're going to need water. I don't like storing water, so as you start storing water in your trunk, you know, it's, it's going to get old, you don't even know what you have, so it's going to be a, it's going to be a tough one. Uh, and uh, gloves. Uh, and uh, bandana and let's see first aid yes uh, everybody needs to have first aid at least enough first aid for you uh, in other words sutures uh, so get sewed up you know uh, bandages you know uh, and a, um, that uh, uh, cream or uh, ointments uh, antibiotic ointments and stuff that kind of stuff you need at least enough stuff to take care of you Everybody needs that in their backpack. In Vietnam, uh, when you get injured, shot, blown up, cut, whatever it is, the medic, the first thing he uses is what you have. He takes the stuff that you have and he uses it on you. Now what happens after a, a big fight, he can't carry enough stuff. So he's going to use up all of his stuff and now he comes around to you and you didn't bring anything. Well. Just stick a, you know, get a rip some of the material off of you, and then uh, uh, maybe stick a leaf on there, and then you know bandage it out, and then you know you're on your own. So uh, you should have enough first aid stuff to take care of yourself, and uh, a gas mask. Uh, all this stuff is on the list uh, on uh, my website, and it's uh, the the ready list, hotspot ready list. Uh, but a, a gas mask. And the reason is, uh, what if there's, um, uh, you know, a, a chemical truck and it wrecked? And, uh, you know, so they got these deadly chemicals out. You know, I mean, uh, you're going to hold your breath long enough? I don't know. Uh, I say where I'm from, we had um, a fertilizer plant in the city that I was from. And the railroad would bring all the, well, railroad and the roads would bring uh, chemicals in. And railroads would too. And there's been times when uh, uh, one of the, the valves would leak and these deadly uh, uh, chemicals were getting out. And uh, so it's always nice <laughs> to have a gas mask. There's few things that will take the place of a gas mask if you need it. And uh, potassium iodide. 
uh, that's for uh, radiation. Uh, because if it's a radiation problem, you're going to need one of those things. You'll need one of those pills. And, uh, but that's just some of the stuff that you're going to be needing. And this is just what you need just to get home. And so uh, I would think try this exercise. I think it would be a fun exercise. All you need to do is just do it once and uh, you'll know what, what it is you're getting into. Not only you're going to learn how to get home from work, but you'll have some idea what's going to happen if you need to leave your home and leave the city or you have to go somewhere. Uh, you're only going to be able to take what you can carry. Uh, even if you have your car, you drive your car, you run out of gas, uh, roadblocks, stuff like that. Uh, there's going to be a time that you may have to leave your car. So it's only going to be what's going to be in your backpack is what you're going to be carrying with you. And so um, this will be a good exercise on that to help you mentally prepare to walk it. This is Mike, nostressmike.com.